so finally google has come up with their most powerful ai model that is a gemini ai so yesterday google has launched a gemini ai in a publicly available mode and we can access gemini ai now in a google cloud generative ai studio but what is a gemini ai how we can access it in a google cloud and how we can use gemini ai to create our custom application so all these things i am going to explain in my videos so stay tuned and watch the video and hit like button if you like my video now we are on deepmind.google page here we will see about a gemini ai okay so we will try to explore what is gemini ai we will see overview of gemini ai what it can do and why it is becoming a more popular and most powerful ai model among all the existing large language models okay so what is gemini ai so this is a recently announced large language model from google and google is claiming that it is most capable among all the models and it is more powerful than gpt4 as well okay so what is gemini ai so we we'll just scroll down and we'll see what it says so gemini is built from the ground up for a multimodality it means it can seamlessly work across text images video audio and a code okay so what is a multimodal so gemini ai handles various formats of the data like text data code images videos and allowing more understanding and interaction okay also it demonstrate the strong reasoning ability to tackle a complex task and applying a human like logic okay again it performance is a benchmark on a different level so if i scroll down and you can see there are different scales used to measure the accuracy and human like tendency of the large language model and you can see the gpt4 score was 86.4 which was highest till date but now the gemini ultra scores 90.0 which is more than a gpt4 and highest amongst all existing models so this is the benchmark used to measure accuracy and performance of these large language model okay and this gemini edge can be used to build chatbots and it is helps to build application with visual understanding because its ability to interrupt images videos and it opens doors for application like object recognition in analysis and video captioning and also describe the content of the videos and the images okay so you can see the different benchmarks and their scores are given for text model it is you can see the scores almost it's higher than gpt4 except this hella swag this is for reasoning for every data but in terms of math in terms of coding it's scoring more than gpt4 and there is difference also huge it means it is a way powerful than a existing gpt4 model and you can see how it is working on the images for images and video processing also the score is far better than gpt4 and it can be used to create application for video processing image processing creating code and different ai applications there are three different versions of this gemini ai one is ultra this is most capable and powerful version for complex tasks second is a gemini pro this is best model for scaling across wide range of tasks and this is uh, currently integrated with bard as well third is a nano which is for on devices tasks so if i scroll down you can see the capability and hands on of this bard so simply i'll just show you the visual puzzle option here and how this works You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. So this is nice example how the Gemini AI works on the audio video and it is like attentive like human. And let me show you one example on the safety purpose because it also claim it is safe as there are a lot of misuse of the AI is being done. currently using the deep fake videos and deep fake images but here it claims it is 
uh, safe to use and it's incorporated a lot of safety measures. So one safety measures, I'll just show you one example here. So as it is already integrated in the bar, so I'll just show you how it is safe and why Google is claiming it is to be safe. So what I will do, so here you can see it is already integrated with a Gemini Pro. So you can see experience Gemini Pro in bar and look new ways to create, plan, brainstorm and more. Okay. So this is already integrated with a Gemini Pro. Now what I will do, I'll just upload one image here and I'll ask to describe about image or I'll just ask about describe or write a poem on the image. Okay. I've given my image here and I'll just type describe image now add this is a human image and this is kind of like personal data as soon as i ask for a detail it will automatically remove this image and it won't provide any data it won't process anything on this image let's see okay so this image has been removed sorry i can't help with the images of people yet it means it is taking the safety into consideration now I will upload any other image. So we'll just upload this elephant image and I'll ask write a essay based on this image. Okay. Now this is not something a uh, human or what we can consider as a personally identified information and you can see it's writing essay on this image the strength of the elephant the image of the elephant has been long revered in many cultures and it has written a very good essay on this so this is simple example how the safety is being considered in Gemini as well so you cannot create any basic videos or a basic images using a Gemini app. spoke about part now just see build with Gemini how we can create custom application with a Gemini AI you can see here integrate Gemini models into your application with Google AI studio and Google cloud to vertex AI so I'll be creating some custom application using Gemini AI in my upcoming video but just to show you let me go to the Google cloud console and we'll show you how we can do a Gemini AI in a Google cloud so let me also open the documentation here and let me also open the cloud console not this one so let me open the cloud console so this is built with Gemini you can get API key in Google Studio and start working on this using this documentation there are three different Gemini I'll try preview access Gemini Pro is globally available and we can work with a Gemini Pro model so I'll go to vertex AI and show you how we can work with a Gemini AI in uh, Google Cloud Generative AI Studio okay so we are in uh, and here you could see the multi-model new option here came this launch in google cloud on 30th of december that is yesterday itself even though the gemini launched on 6th of december and here you can see you can have a different prompts sample prompts so extract text from images few shots json few short image on the json image question answering so i'll just try this one okay and you can see the option what is the price of this you can ask and the different questions you can add based on the image so i will just insert my own image so i'll just clear the prompt i will insert my own image so i will insert this again elephant image and i will ask what is in the image okay and here you can see the model in gemini pro vision model let me submit and wait for response i am trying this for first time 
we are just exploring so we'll see what it respond and you can see let me ask again what is color of elephant the color of elephant is gray now let me ask how i can okay now i am curious what it will say it should see the response word block because the input response potentially violates our policy because i mentioned here something harming animals and that is why the response that is why it is claimed that this is the safe among all the models okay so i ask how i can see jelly fund and the response was blocked because it is not giving information on how to manipulate animals or how to seize animals or how to harm animal i'll just change my question how i can play with elephant and it will again give me the proper response elephants are wild animals and can be dangerous if they feel threatened it is not safe to play with them okay so it is giving a very safe response and that is why it is considered as one of the most powerful and the human like thinking of this gemini yeah, you can consider so there are a lot of use cases we can create a different application using this gemini as yeah. so you can see simply you can get code here to create our custom application using this code we can create our application in python we can deploy it anywhere on a google cloud so that is how we are going to work in our next few days so this is what i want to explain you about a uh, gemini and how we can work with gemini air in a vertex air studio and a google air so we will see more about gemini air in our upcoming video so i'll be creating a uh, multiple videos on this gemini air we'll create some custom application on a uh, gemini air and we'll learn about gemini air more so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you soon